acts of Sir Cliff Richard and Kylie, the kinks and take that, have all singularly and albumly failed to do. We cracked America, staging our first full-on FameLab USA competition. Now, we'd had a preliminary outing there a couple of years back with a NASA-only version, which is impressive enough. NASA, these are the people who put people on the moon. And here were they, adopting and adapting an idea that originated here in Cheltenham. Very exciting. Even more exciting, they got their final hosted by Michelle Nichols, who was the original Uhura in Star Trek, thus linking FameLab not only with the mighty NASA, but with the even mightier Federation. <laughs> now, that was great. That was great. But there are still a few scientists left in America not working directly for NASA. And we wanted them to have a chance at FameLab too. So this year, again, with a lot of help from NASA, we went nationwide. And after something only marginally less protracted than the US election process, Lyle Tomlinson emerged as their winner. A graduate student at Stony Brook University on Long Island, Lyle is investigating how stem cells in our head are affected by exercise. He's also doing the practical side of it as well because he's a jogger and he may stretch a few of our brain cells over the next three minutes. Hail to the Chief Fame Lab of USA, Lyle Tomlinson. <laughs> So, by show of hands, how many of you have forgotten the names of people you just recently met? Ah, so we have something in common. Okay. But if you guys are really anything like me, you've probably also walked into rooms in your house before and said, wait, what was I doing here? <laughs> or maybe you've done my favorite and gone on that long search to find your keys in the morning only to realize they're in your pocket. You see, it's senior moments like these that make us question our memories and wonder what we can do to make them better. Well, science may have the answer to some of these memory problems, and it may be just as simple as running more. You see, the surprising thing is, people who run tend to do better on memory tests, like those involving recalling lists of words or recognizing objects. But that seems a little far-fetched, right? I mean, normally, people don't associate brain and brawn, so how would an exercise boost in memory even work? Well, some scientists think that it has something to do with a region of your brain that's kind of close to your temples but a little further in called the hippocampus, and it's really important for memory. It helps you remember the little things, like where your keys are in the morning, to big significant personal events like the birth of a child or even a first kiss. Some scientists think that it's behind this exercise increase in memory because it has stem cells. And these stem cells act like little babies poised and ready to become neurons dedicated to memory. Their development acts kind of like the RAM you might find in a personal computer or a smartphone. They help us acquire and retrieve new memories more efficiently. And aerobic exercise in a number of studies has been shown to increase the number of stem cells found in this area of the brain. And you guys have been paying for computer memory this whole time. You can run and get your own memory for free. <laughs> but there's still more work to be done. Currently, scientists are trying to put together a more accurate picture of how this might work by using the brains of exercising mice, rats, and even humans. Because even though how this works might not matter for you or I, it may make a big difference for people with memory conditions. So another surprising thing is that aerobic exercise seems to delay the onset of dementia. In a number of studies in mice, aerobic exercise has also been shown to slow the age-related death of stem cells. So if we can figure out what exercise factors are protecting these cells from dying off, we could potentially use them as treatments for people with memory conditions. But the work is still a little far off, and we still have much more work to do. We need to find candidates that can actually do this. But while we're waiting, I'm going to go outside for a run because it might improve my memory and it would be much better than being embarrassed asking for people's names. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much for a fascinating, uh, fascinating talk. Now, I'm a little puzzled because, say for example, you know, I grow very old and I'm lucky enough to grow old and I start having memory conditions and then I need to exercise in order to do that better. Maybe I'm not able to exercise in my late 70s. What's gonna to happen to me? So you actually may have some other options. So there are actually 
um, a number of studies being done in many different kinds of aerobic exercise. So they've done studies with people who not only run, but swim and even just walk more. They have found that they have not only the decrease uh, or the decreased risk of getting dementia, but also seem to do slightly better on memory tests. So there are options for you. George is or, only in his mid-60s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Doesn't look yeah. good. Doesn't look good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that was brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I'd just like to ask you a little bit more about these stem cells and, um, and whether there's anything else that we can do to, to kind of encourage them to, to engage with other cells in the brain and to help us. Yeah, so there's actually another phenomenon that scientists usually look at when they're also looking at uh, aerobic exercise. So um, a lot of times, uh, most of the studies that are done in aerobic exercise, um, they're done in mice but there are also tons of aerobic exercise studies done in humans. One thing that doesn't seem to translate, because we're still trying to figure out what it means for us, is this thing called enriched environment. So for mice, it means that you give them tons of toys every day and feed them new foods. You're basically leaving them in a very enriched, very stimulating environment. And that seems to have the same effect on the stem cells that running does, so it increases the number. So what that means for us, people are still trying to figure out, but for mo what most scientists say about it is just you know, stay stimulated, keep reading, keep yourself active mentally. So. Okay, Good. stimulate your applause please for our FameLab USA yeah. champion. Well, Tom Wilson.